All right, people. Brothers, brothers, brothers. Thank you all so much. This channel is now over 600 subscribers because of your efforts. Please, the likes, the shares, the comments, they mean everything. Now, that being said, tell the video. <laughs> in the hard west, we live in a culture that is very, very plastic about appearance mostly nowadays. And many men, rightfully, slow, rightfully so, excuse me, are complaining that women generally have extremely high standards for the baseline. And for men who are not that top apex, they have extremely high, entirely different standards. Now, for example, when we say this, well, they always say, well, men have high standards too. Men have high standards too. And they always say the same things. We can't be too fat. We can't be like 31. We can't have kids, all right? And our face can't be ugly. Or no men will want us. <laughs> okay. Let me see your phone. No, 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 no. They don't count. Men only want sex. Aha. Uh -huh. I got you. So if men have high standards, and they say that men only want sex, then that means that men are easy to please. They're literally... Killing their own argument when they say that. They don't realize it. And also, their phones, social media, dating apps, even in the real, you'll see these men, because of Juggernaut's law, always trying to outcompete other men. And for me, it's hilarious. They compare them being big as hell to a man that is balding and short. One of those comes from, generally, habit and self-action. The other is genetics. So in their mind, this is a false equivalency that male genetics are against female habits. To them, it's the same. It's the same. And for me, it's hilarious. I got a lot of this. Or they compare wealthy men with them big as hell. Also keep in mind, big as hell men exist as well, but they don't want them. They don't want them. Generally nowadays, that is. Isn't that telling, brothers? It's not telling. So... They're comparing as well, as well, excuse me, men who get nothing at all, no intimacy, no sex, relationships, none of that, with them only wanting men to have me for sex. Because who is doing that? Who is the man having these high standards? That is the apex of men, not the majority. Which also proves that they only want to pursue the same few men. Isn't that crazy? By omission of all the other men that would be with you, who are not part of the apex, who you quote unquote friend zone, who are being entitled. Even though, again, the top 20 chatterones are never entitled, apparently even though they literally only have women basically for a harem, is not telling people. If that's also true, explain black men. Let's be real here, people. We have the lowest standards. The data proves this. If men have these high standards, then why do all these women that are big as hell have kids? 
Why? Why? If men have high standards, then why do even post wall chicks have options? Have backups on reserve? If men have high standards, then why? I want to know. Are big chicks compared to dudes that are balding and short? Because they expect you to be on reserve. These are the black and white pill troops. Truths, excuse me. Now, many of you will not want to accept this reality. Men, or even a woman as well. Many of you will try to compare these two double standards, ignoring the data, which is peer reviewed, by the way. And I know why. Because every day I'm told the same thing. You can't just go off data. You gotta go off what experience this is. Okay. And then when I do that as well, where am I told? Oh, you're not trying hard enough. Aha. You're trying to keep me on the plantation. No, I'm not doing that. And neither is the fellowship, the base brotherhood. We do not desire that here. We do not. Now, as for you men who have truly low standards, many of you feel enraged, abandoned, because you are, by the way, that you do not count. Because they'll also say the same exact thing. If there's no attraction, if there's no attraction, you can't force me to be with them. Of course. I will not fault this at all. I will not. But that guy still wants you, which means that it's only an option to you if you want them back. But for men, that's not the same. Men have a strategy of numbers, generally. We get who we can. Women get who they want. Men even marry who they can. Women marry who they want. If it's not chatteron, they feel like they're downgrading somehow. Somehow that they're not having their true desire. For example, they'll be five foot two, call men five foot seven, too short. And my men are five foot five nowadays. God bless y'all. Story time before I bounce, by the way. Story time. Remember, brothers, you gotta impress her friends and her. Not only must she want you, but her friends as well. Again, plastic world. But story time. I used to know a man. Well, back ago, maybe a year or so ago. To, to me a story. This man was like five five, right? Had a chick. She was like five foot zero. He did everything right for her. Everything. The supreme gentleman. <laughs> All right. And he was with her for about eight, nine months, right? She literally broke up with him because her friends were laughing at his height, even though he was taller than all of them. Taller than all of them. After they broke up, well, she left him. She got a dude and got played and regretted that she left that good behind man who treated her so well and tried to come crawling back to him. This is called monkey branching, by the way. And this man said, nah, I'm good. And to this day, she still regrets not being with him. A bad net good behind man because of his genetics, which in many ways are qualified in a non hard Western place. So if you're everything right to them, but lack the genetics, you will not win. You won't. You will either be the backup plan, a meal ticket, or abandoned for the top Apex 20. Now, brothers, do not forget this concept where even if you get a girl, 
if you like the genes and they're used to having dudes that are quote unquote better genetically than you are, you are not their first or second choice, your last choice, and their friends know it too. That's why they're laughing at her with you. This proves the society is messed up. The civilization is collapsing. Uh, collapsing, excuse me. Olympus is falling, brothers. It is falling. But remember, like the video, subscribe, join the fellowship, the base brotherhood. I am the base Pluto.